Okay. Right, at long last in this video, I'm going to be showing you the winners to the Motone Customs July photo competition. It's been a long time coming, I know, but we've got there now. Thanks for bearing with me and Motone Customs on this. But just before we get on to that, I'd like to take a look at Motone Customs' new Gemini bar end finishers. Now, we've all seen pictures of things, you know, products that look really nice, but then when we've seen them in real life it's left as cold you know it just doesn't live up to expectations in the flesh and i'm presuming that everyone's the same as me because sometimes i see photographs of things that really don't float my boat these barren finishers being one of those things and even when i unpack them i wasn't really that sure about them but then you stick them on a bike and all of a sudden it's like they've been transformed and somehow it just works it fits these gemini barren finishers gave me that experience i really wasn't sure about them when sam fess showed me the sort of mock-ups of them a year or so ago i still wasn't sure about them when i received them for review but then i stuck them on the bobber black and i have to say they did wow me over the years motone customs have introduced a whole range of ribbed or finned webco inspired custom parts initially this was a range of aluminium parts but as brass has become more sought after as a custom part material motone have expanded that range to include a multitude of brass parts and these gemini barren finishers are the latest addition to that range as far as i'm aware these are designed to fit all the liquid cold bonneville models because they all have the same bar end fitting but i will leave a link to motone's product page in the video description down below it might be worth just checking to make sure it is compatible with your bike i'm sure they will have a list of bikes that are not compatible if there are any as has been the trend with motone customs of late these have been cast from a high quality brass and then machine finished and hand polished the reason for this is that motone customs was having a huge problem with counterfeit parts and the high costs involved in casting parts like this usually discourages counterfeiters from reproducing the parts the gemini comes as a complete kit including two stainless steel screws and obviously fitting is an absolute doddle it just takes a few minutes in fact i'm not even going to explain it to you because it's so simple it's just screwing a screw in and i'm just going to let the footage play in the background while i'm talking now for the purposes of this video i just removed the bar and mirrors from the triumph bonneville bobber black purely so that i could show you an example of them fitted to a bike i could just have easily have fitted them to the t120 but the bobber black was more accessible in the garage and i did have some prototype parts from merton for the bobber black to try out so you know two beds one stone and in the time it's taken me to say that as you've seen the fitted as you can see these finishers are countersunk and they're fitted with a countersunk screw which effectively self centers them on fitting now brass does look lovely when it's freshly polished up like this but personally i like the sort of vintage appeal of slightly aged tarnish brass on a bike it gives it a sort of I don't know what the phrase is really sort of natural worn in look and i know over the years one or two viewers have developed methods of aging their brass parts quickly to get that vintage brass look more or less straight out of the box but if you want them to age naturally just clean your bike as normal and just give them a buff up occasionally with a dry clean cloth and it will take a few months but eventually they'll take on that mellow aged look that everybody seems to favor me included but if you do want them to stay shiny it's not a major hassle a quick buff up twice a year with some Meguiar's next generation polish and your brass parts will stay looking as good as new and i think that demonstrates the unique properties of brass it's unlike any other metal if you ignore and neglect bare aluminium it turns into a fuzzy mess brass on the other hand just 
mellows into a different state of gorgeousness. Right, before we move on, don't forget all viewers of this channel are entitled to a channel exclusive 12% discount from Motown Customs using a discount code. The current discount code is Uncle Stew Rules, and I'll leave that in the video description down below along with the link to the Gemini Baron finishers from Motown Customs. Right, let's get on with the photo competition results. Now, as I'm sure you'll all be aware, the pandemic has caused huge logistical problems for all businesses around the world. Merton had some problems with uh, mandated self-isolation in the first few weeks of August. And then, of course, since then, there's been some major problems with haulage around the world, all of which have played a huge part in the delay in getting these photo competition results published. And then to add insult to injury, apparently there was a record number of disqualifications in this competition because people quite simply had not adhered to the rules. So, without further ado, starting off with the runners-up prizes, each of the people displayed in this runners-up section will receive a £50 e-voucher from Motown Customs to spend against any Motown products currently on their website. Here we go! Hang on a minute, that's Sam Wheeler's bike from Moton Customs, you twat Wheeler. Ladies and gentlemen, this bike is disqualified. very nearly got past me, it's because I'm always winding him up that he looks like one of the Bee Gees, Maurice Gibbs. Right, so last but not least, the overall winner of the July photo competition, who will receive a £250 e-voucher from Moton Customs to spend against any Moton Customs products. I've got a good man to put it up to 500 quid for that. Here we go. So there you go, congratulations to Stephen Hall and all the runners up. I'm just going to let the music play out now with a slideshow of other competition entries that were passed on to me but unfortunately haven't won, but Maurice obviously thought that they were worthy of publication on this video. Now if your bike doesn't display properly, that's your fault, not mine, for not supplying it in a 16-9 landscape aspect ratio I've done the best I can once again thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I'll see you on Friday <laughs>